Let's see if your basic math skills and ability to focus are strong enough to figure out this math question all in your head. And here is the question. We have parentheses 5 times 4 squared parentheses divided by 2. All right, now there is no time limit, so if you want to pause the video and think about this and put your answer into the comment section, that would be fantastic. I'm going to show you the correct answer in just one second, then I'm going to explain to you how my brain works and uh, tell you the steps you need to know to solve this problem. All right, so again, we have parentheses 5 times 4 squared parentheses divided by 2. What is the correct solution? Well, the right answer here is 40. Okay, now if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and A plus, and don't feel bad if you got this wrong, all right? So this is a lot to kind of think about here, but the most important thing is that you walk away from this video understanding the math skills, the math concepts that you need in order to get the right answer. So let's go ahead and get into this right now. So I'm going to assume that you can do basic multiplication, division, and simple powers. Now the next thing that we need to kind of think about here, of course we're doing this all in our brain, is what are we going to do first? Are we going to do the multiplication, powers, or division? So in order to answer that question, we need to understand this, and that is PEMDAS. So PEMDAS is an acronym that tells us the correct order of operations. So when we're looking at this problem, we need a game plan. In other words, we're going to be like, all right, what am I going to do first? And we have to kind of focus in on that thing and just kind of walk through one step at a time. So let me go ahead and quickly explain. PEMDAS here. Again, this is the proper order of operations in mathematics. Now, in math, things like multiplication, division, powers, and even parentheses or grouping symbols are what we call mathematical operations. All right, so PEMDAS is a checklist that goes from left to right. So P stands for parentheses. So if we have any parentheses or brackets, these are technically what we call grouping symbols. We're going to start there. Now, of course, we have parentheses in our problem, so this is the first thing that we're going to do. All right, so we're going to focus on what's inside of these parentheses. Okay, so after we do all this math, we're going to move on to E. Now, E stands for exponents, and this thing right here is an exponent to this power. But a good way to think of E is powers, right? So anything like 4 squared. Now, of course, I'm kind of telling you what's going on in this problem, but when it comes to any math problem, you need to be thinking about PEMDAS. All right, so again, we're going to start with all parentheses or brackets so we know what to do here. And then we're going to look for any powers or exponents. So obviously, this is going to be our starting point. OK, so M, D, A, and S stand for multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. Now, you know, it's kind of logical to think that this is a checklist that goes from left to right that the next thing that we're going to do is multiplication, but that is not the way this works. So this is one of the most confused things about the order of operations, and a lot of students make mistakes. So the next thing that you're going to do is any multiplication or division, whatever you have first from left to right. So for example, let's go ahead and test your understanding of PEMDAS. So if I gave you this problem, 10 divided by 2 times 5, all right? So what do you think the answer is? Okay, so now if you're saying, hey, well, Mr. YouTube Math Man, this is easy, the correct answer is 1. Well, unfortunately, that is wrong, all right? You got to pay attention a little bit better to what I just told you. Okay, so PEMDAS stands for what? Well, we're going to do parentheses, E's, exponents, and then M and D is any multiplication or division whatever we see first from left to right. So in this problem, what do we see first from left to right? Well, we see the division. Okay, so here we have 10 divided by 2. That's 5. So the correct answer is 5 times 5, which, of course, is 25. All right, so you got to be very careful with this step when it comes uh, to the order of operations. And then after we're done with all multiplication and division, we'll move on to any addition and subtraction, and we'll do the same thing. We'll handle it from left to right. Okay, so I basically kind of laid out the game plan to solve this problem. So now it really kind of comes down to your ability to focus. All right, so here we have our grouping symbols. We're grouping this stuff here. We know that we need to do this first, right? So you got to do this first, and then we need to multiply 
the result of this by 5, right? So once we have that, we can divide by 2 and we'll have our answer. All right, so if you want to kind of pause the video and see if you can kind of mentally figure this out, that's excellent. But uh, let's go ahead and continue on with this problem. So now that we know what to do, i.e. we're going to work inside of these parentheses, start right here, and then do the multiplication, and then lastly the division, we really kind of want to think of this problem in an easier way, right? Now, of course, you can work the problem just like this, but I'm going to suggest anytime you see a division symbol and you have a group, it's a really good idea to think of what's going on as a fraction. So let me show you that right now. So if you can kind of think of the problem this way, parentheses 5 times 4 squared, parentheses divided by 2, it's the same thing as this fraction. This is the numerator being divided by 2, so 2 would be the denominator. Now this is going to really help us out in terms of the number crunching because here we're going to end up with some eh, not too big of a number. You'll see the number here in a second. But again, we're doing this all in our brain, so we have to really kind of concentrate here and think about what we're going to do. So again, we need to focus, right? So we're like, okay, PEMDAS tells me I got to work inside of the parentheses. And then inside of the parentheses, I'm looking around. I have multiplication, but here I have powers. So the only thing your brain needs to be thinking about is this right here. So what is 4 squared? Well, 4 squared means take 4 and multiply it by itself. So 4 times 4, of course, is 16. So what we have right now is going to be 5 times 16 divided by 2. Now, of course, we have these parentheses, but uh, let's talk about that right now. All right, now here is our uh, next step. So we have 4 squared, which, of course, is 16. Now we have parentheses, 5 times 16 parentheses. Now, I just told you about PEMDAS that we need to really kind of finish up what's inside of the parentheses to be done with that step. But when it comes to multiplication, really you can kind of drop the parentheses because 5 times 16 is 80, all right? So you'll see this math here in a second. So this is 80, and once we get that result, we can factor 80 as 5 and 16. So as long as you understand uh, this, this uh, really helps us out in terms of the math because here, instead of trying to figure out what 5 times 16 is because we're working inside of these parentheses, if we just kind of drop the parentheses, in other words, 5 times 16 is going to be equal to 80. Now, once we have that answer and factor 80, we can factor 80 as 5 times 16. And then, of course, we can drop the parentheses. So hopefully you understand that. But here, 5 times 16 over 2 is going to be a great way to visualize the problem because we could take this 2 and divide it into 16, and that is 8. So now we're left with 5 times 8, which, of course, is 40. And that is our answer. Now, there's not one way to solve this problem. Again, it's how your brain works. But uh, what's not up for debate is the steps that we need to take. All right, so let's go ahead and continue on. Again, this is one approach. This is the way my brain would work. I'd be like, all right, 5 times 16. I'm really uh, not interested in doing this math in my brain. So what's an easy way for me to think about this problem? So if I have 5 times 16 over 2, well, I'm going to take that 2 and divide it into 16. Now let's just make sure you understand why we can do that. So 16 is the same thing as 2 times 8. And in math, you could cross cancel like factors. So these 2's could cross cancel, and we're left with this 8. So 5 times 8, of course, is going to be 40. All right, so that is our answer. Now, another way that you can kind of do this is to try to figure out the multiplication, this product uh, directly, right? So here we have 5 times 16, that's 80. Now, if you were able to do this in your brain, that is fantastic. So of course, 80 divided by 2 is 40. Now, something that you could do, yeah, it's just a little bit of a trick, and it might help it might help you calculate this in your brain, is the following. So if you didn't know what 5 times 16 is, a great way to do multiplication is using the distributive property. So 5 times 16, we can actually write it this way. So this is 5 times 16. But let's break up 16 in this manner. So instead of writing 16, let's write 10 plus 6. All right, so 5 times 10 plus 6, of course, this is 16. We can use the distributive property. So 5 times 10 is 50 
plus 5 times 6 is 30, and 50 plus 30 is, of course, 80. Now, again, you know, we're doing this in our brain, so we have to stop and pause and kind of do these mental calculations. So I'm not saying this is exactly easy, but it is possible. And I think this uh, calculation right here would be a little bit challenging for most people. But anyways, we get 80. So 5 times 16 is 80, and 80 divided by 2 is 40. All right, now don't feel bad if you got this wrong. The whole idea here is to have a little bit of fun with math and this is a great exercise to really kind of strengthen your brain all right as we age you know doing math or puzzles or things like sudoku or you know any kind of thing that keeps our brain active is really healthy for us but uh, the most important thing in this video i think is to make sure you actually understand the math Okay, now if you're interested in kind of brushing off some basic math skills, let me go ahead and suggest two courses. You can find links to these in the description of this video. The first is uh, my Math Skills Rebuilder course, right? Math Skills Rebuilder. In this course, I teach basic math, um, algebra, and geometry. All right, let me go and write that a little bit better. Math Skills Rebuilder. So if you did really good in high school in math and you're like, yeah, you know, that was 50 years ago. I forgot all that stuff, but maybe you, you know, you kind of want to recapture all those skills then you might want to check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. Now, if you just want to brush off, uh, brush up on your basic math skills, then check out my Math Foundations course. Here, I just focus in on basic math. So I'm talking about fractions, decimals, place value, positive, negative numbers, uh, order of operations, etc. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.